Well, alrighty guys, welcome back to another LEGO set review from Brick by Brick, and today we have the Bricktober limited edition LEGO Batman movie uh, figures. We're removing the little plastic sleeve thing for the first time. And now we've got four brand new exclusive minifigures. This was given away during the second week in Bricktober. And uh, it could be bought separately for $19.99, depending on the store. Uh, but it contains 27 pieces, and yeah, it's uh, got four exclusive minifigures. There's all the information on the back, the item number, and limited edition exclusively available at Toys R Us. So, figure number one is this uh, oh, difficult to take out. But, um, oh, here we go. That's the best way. You gotta, uh, move the legs. But, this is Money Suit Batman, pretty much. Uh, and it's a pretty funny looking figure. The, uh, head underneath is one of the ones that was previously available in LEGO Batman movie sets, but I don't think I have this head yet, so cool for me, personally. He's got the, you know, more serious face. I believe that's one of the less common expressions for him. Which is cool to get in, you know, a little freebie set. And it does come with a $100 bill, but the cool part is his outfit, which is covered in money. Uh, you know, probably just printed on there, but it could be real money. And the arm print on there is really fantastic. And it continues on both arms, and both arms have different designs, I think. Uh, no, maybe not. Maybe it's... No, I guess it is pretty much the same. Just threw me off uh, the angle, you know. And the legs also have printing. No printing down towards the toes, but, you know, the rest of it. And the hips, too. Uh, and it lines up really well. And it really lines up almost perfectly well, over the side of the legs, a little bit off down at the bottom there, but you know, for the most part, it's really well detailed and uh, a really cool looking uh, suit. And overall, it makes a nice wacky Batman suit figure. And the second one that we've got here is a really pretty cool looking one, just right off the bat. Because it is the Easter Bunny Batman. And this guy we've been kind of waiting for for a while. Because uh, he was first shown as like a keychain figure. And usually they don't, or not a keychain, an LED light. And usually they only make those for existing figures. So it was kind of assumed that we would get one of these eventually. But uh, it does have a new recolor of the bunny hat piece. And a new facial print. Only one-sided, but, you know, still cool. Kind of reminds me of the fairy suit Batman, just with the different mask uh, and I think that that's pretty cool I almost expected them to do it on a black head and just print on the flesh but you know it's, it's cool the way it is and um, he does have kind of the standard looking Batman design except on like a light blue torso uh, and you know I'm pretty sure it's almost identical to the rest of the Lego Batman movie variants and the legs have no printing uh, and obviously there's no printed belt, but um, pretty cool looking. And he comes with one of these egg pieces, which I believe the blue one was available in one Angry Birds set, as well as that little Easter one. And he comes with this nice pink basket, which comes in a couple friend sets, I think. And maybe one of the Simpsons minifigures, I think one of them comes with some sort of basket in a bright color. I don't know if it's pink, though. But, uh, yeah, overall... Pretty cool looking figure, and really, I think probably my favorite just because it is a really kind of funny suit for him. Third up, we've got this bat wizard, and he's kind of tough to remove, but it's doable. And the uh, you know the figure has got some cool uh, designs to him. The little base of his, uh, you know, his slope dress kind of thing it is cool. Uh, it's got the bat 
logo. He has the little necklace as well. And it comes with a nice bat staff. The cape is a little odd because the bottom part is this nice newer fabric-y one. But the top part is the papery old style. So I'm kind of just a little bit interesting there, uh, what they did with that. And because of that, the, the little uh, collar doesn't always look perfect. But he does have this standard expression. Uh, and on the other side, it's kind of got the... I guess it's tough to show, but it's the... Uh, let's see if we can turn this easily. Uh, yeah, I don't know if it's worth turning, but it is like the... the um, here. Let's see if we can kind of get an angle. It's like the, the angry weird face that he has, like... Looks like he's playing the guitar, kind of, from the trailer. Is that face. But, yeah, difficult to see uh, the other side, and difficult to turn around, but really cool figure. However, I don't like this one as much because in the, you know, the movie and the little concept art book, he has a wizard hat, like, molded attached to the, um, the cowl, so... It's not an exact representation, and I forgot to mention, I'm pretty sure that the Easter Bunny in the movie slash book with all the art in it had a pink cape, so, you know, again, not exactly perfect, but the LED light was exactly like this one. But, uh, yeah, overall, uh, I like this one, just not as much as the other ones. And last but not least, we have this, uh, there we go, this uh, Spartan Batman, kind of, uh, and... He's a really kind of interesting figure uh, because he, yeah, he did appear in the movie uh, or in the art book at least, the making of the movie one. But uh, he's kind of almost as desirable as a, uh, a, you know, as a Batman suit. Almost as desirable as just one of, you know, just a Spartan warrior figure because there are a lot of people who are looking for army builders like that. And this one doesn't, you know, it's not awful for that purpose. I like this shield piece, which I believe this is only the second time it's been used um, after the Series 6 Roman figure. But we're going to remove that so that you can see the detailing on the legs, which is really nice. Dual molding, got printing all the way around. You know, it's a really well done piece. And yes, it is dual molded. And the torso, you know, it has the Batman logo. And it looks cool. But, you know, the Batman logo is not so super obviously just Batman that it's, uh, you know, that it's not the, uh, you know, it's not specifically 100%. Uh, it's not like it couldn't be used as a, uh, as a Roman gladiator piece. And this is actually a new head print as well. Um, because it has this top mask piece, but it uses the same bottom mouth. Uh, so, you know, it is what it is there. And I really love this helmet piece. I don't believe it's been used since the Series 2 Spartan Warrior, so it's cool to see them reusing this. I wonder if they're going to reuse it in some other way as well in order to justify the bringing back of this mold, or if they just had wanted to keep it and had the, uh, you know, had it sitting around... Um, and wanted to get some use out of it, but overall, I think that this is a really awesome, well done figure. Um, it's not my favorite because it's not the, you know, it's no Easter Bunny, it's no money suit, but it's a really, really well done figure as well, and you know, looks cool. So overall, this is a really impressive minifigure set. Uh, yep, the Ninjago one from last week was really cool, um, but most of the characters were relatively, you know, show-specific. Uh, it's not like they would mean a ton to uh, collectors outside of the Ninjago theme, which, you know, that's not me. I fall into the perfect target demographic of that, uh, you know, of that last figure set. So I loved it a lot, but, you know, other people, I can see where they're going to be you know, not super duper excited about it, but this one, uh, it, it's got a little bit of everything, honestly. Um, 
super awesome funny bat suits, which I happen to really like. That's the main reason I wanted it. But uh, even besides that, you know, there are going to be people who want this bunny suit recolor. There are going to be people who, you know, <laughs> like the money suit. There's going to be people who want, you know, more Spartan warrior armin, army building parts. Um, no, I think the wizard is definitely going to be the least popular of these four, but honestly, they're all really, really nicely done, and I can't really complain too much about it. Only thing you could argue is it's a little expensive by itself, but it's intended as a promo item and limited edition, so the price does make sense, I think. Uh, and, you know, it's relatively exclusive. And I think that this particular set of the four is going to be demanding the highest price on the aftermarket, unless something goes crazy in one of the last two weeks is like super limited availability. I think that this one is going to be the most popular, you know, out of, uh, you know, out of all of them. But yeah, hope you guys enjoyed this uh, little review, and I will see you guys all next time. Bye, everyone.